We are having an amazing time with comedian, actor, director, producer. Okay. Hello. Wow. All right. Wow. <laughs> Jay Jamal. Now, did that kind of hit you a little bit? Wow. Yeah. I, I totally forgot I was a producer and a writer and all of that because I have done all that and I've had Warner Brother release one of my movies and I made nothing from it, but Warner Brother got made, made paper. So that's why I'm excited about doing film, acting, but I'm really a comedian. I've been a comedian all my life, really, since the third grade. Wow. Well, AJ, tell us yeah. about your career, though. I mean, a lot of people don't know, and I remember in Living Color. <laughs> so oh, tell yeah. Me about this. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, number one, I'm so happy to see Jamie doing better. Because Jamie Foxx is, uh, I will always tell people that if it wasn't for Jamie Foxx, I wouldn't have never been on In Living Colors. He fought for me to get on that show and he made it happen. I always tell people that Jamie Foxx is one of, the, one of the nicest brothers you'll ever meet. I mean, all the Oscars he have and all the songs and music, Jamie is, the, so I'm happy he's doing better. But I started off in Cleveland, Ohio, I was an engineer with IBM. I have a master's in electrical engineering. Go figure. Uh, I cheated a lot. I'll be honest. I, uh, you, uh, you know, you need to know. Tell all these young kids, you need to know where to sit when you take the hard classes. If you take a hard class and it look like somebody gonna fail, yeah, exactly. That's the thing. You got it right there. <laughs> you need to know. <laughs> sit next to the. If this a, if this a class with. <laughs> You got Yo, it. If it's a class I, where there's a lot of spelling, <laughs> sit next to the Indian dude. If it's a class where it's a lot of math and science, sit next to the Asian dude. Yeah, if it wasn't for Wong Chong Long Lee, I would have never passed physics. Me and Wong Chong both got 98 on our final. Oh Me my and Wong gosh. Chong both missed number two. How was that? Who would have ever thought we both missed number two and we both got 98? Only two people in the whole Terrible. class got 98. Me terrible. and Wong Chong Long Lee. <laughs> You're terrible. So that's that horrible. Being said, I can't I say I didn't my, do it. And I'm, I'm, I, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm not the only one, so I don't feel so bad. <laughs> no, you're Wait not. Minute, so, so I left IBM. I left IBM, and I'm, I'm dating myself now. This is how old I go back. I left IBM uh, at 86. And so that's how far I go back. And I, I went downtown Cleveland, Ohio, and my first open mic night, I sat back there with a guy named uh, Drew Carey. And Drew Carey hosts The Price is Right. He's from Cleveland, Ohio. He still has mad love for Cleveland like I do. And we sat that back down there, and uh, I won that open mic night, and I got a chance to come back and host again. I got $50. And then I got to start working around the Cleveland scene and IBM started seeing me on the paper. And I was, I was the worst engineer ever hired. If you look in the book and say, who's the worst engineer ever hired? it will be me like, ah, it's me. <laughs> so IBM said, we'll give you money to leave IBM and start your comedy career. And they did. And so that's how I started in comedy. I, started, I moved to LA in 87. And I got me a big agent because I knew some people out there. And uh, that's how I started. I started. Matter of fact, the whole story is I went to a cop. My undergraduate was at Kent State University. And at Kent State University, there's a lot of talent down there. Myself, uh, Arsenio Hall was there. Steve Harvey was there. Uh, Drew Carey was there. And so uh, Arsenio said to us one day, hey, man, I'm, I'm about to leave college. And, I'm a, uh, and we're like, what you going to do? He said, well, I want to be a comedian. And we were like, but you ain't funny. You need to stay in college. He go, no, I got a couple jokes and I got a magic trick. I'm like, are you going to leave college for two jokes and a magic trick? And he left college and he went to Chicago and he hooked up with Patti LaBelle and he hooked up with they people. And then he left, he started opening up for Patti LaBelle and then he left Chicago and he went to LA and hooked up with a manager called Roy Gerber. And so I started seeing his career take off and I'm so proud of our center because I know him from Cleveland. And then when I left IBM, I went to LA and I said to Roy Gerber, I walked to his office, I knocked on the door and I said, hey, I'm a big um, friend of Arsenio Hall and I need management. And Roy Gerber said, 
I hate Arsenio Hall. And I said, well, I'm not that big of a friend. I just knew him one or two days. <laughs> and so he said, and this is how Hollywood works. I just walked into this man's office. So he says, are you funny? I go, yeah, I'm funny. He picks up the phone and he calls Shirley Berger. He says, Shirley, I got a comedian. I want to open up for the Temptations this weekend. And Shirley goes, Shirley Burgers was the manager of the Temptations. I, I think he might still be around. He's, he has to be about 118. So Shirley goes, what's his name? And Roy goes, AJ Jamal. He goes, AJ Jamal. He said, what, what kind of name is that? And Roy goes, it's Jewish. Put him on the show. And he hung up the phone. And I was opening up for the Temptation that weekend. He'd never seen me Jewish? perform. And never seen. He, yeah, that's what she, he told Shirley. I was Jewish. <laughs> Oh my he said, God. He's, he's, that's the hookup they have in LA. And that week, that weekend, I opened up for the Temptation. It was like 2,000 people at the amp. And, and Roy Gerber came to the show and I, I destroyed them. They didn't know I was a comic. And Shirley, I mean, Roy said, You're a very funny person. I want to sign you. And so mm. he signed me and he, he hooked me up with a big agency called William Morris. And the three black people that was at William Morris was myself. Tommy Davis, Martin Lawrence, uh, and uh, me, Tommy Davis, Martin Lawrence, and there was one, one more, I'll think of his name, I always forget his name. And we were the young guns of comedy. And of course, I was the only clean one, and all the other ones became rich and famous. <laughs> and me being clean, you know, but I, I, I will always be clean, and that's just my spirit, that's the way I am. And so, uh, yeah. but all of them are still good people. And so that's how I got started in comedy, and I've been doing, I mean, I've opened up because, hey, because I was clean comedian, I opened up for every act you can imagine. Like Diana Ross, I was with Diana Ross for four years. And that's because oh. she didn't want nobody bothering her audience. She didn't want nobody cursing. And she wanted a clean comedian. And then Cher went on a, a tour called the Hearts of Stone Tour. So I did the Hearts of Stone Tour with Cher. And I'm talking about Aretha Franklin. Everybody, you name a person, I opened up for them. And that's how I started, I, I started my comedy career opening wow. up for major acts. Wow. And you know, it's so funny because, well, it's, it's, it's kind of ironic. You know, they say that you're, and I'm sorry for the, the hand thing. They say, they <laughs> say that you're- I love it. I love it. <laughs> they say that you never, you're never more than two steps away from someone who knows someone else that is, you, you know right. what I mean? So think about it this way. Right. You opened up for The Temptations. What year was that? 87. Wow. Wow. So in 87, I, I'm not really sure when, when did Glenn Leonard leave the band? Was he still there? I know. I know a Glenn Leonard. You know him because was, I did the Hitsville live show with Glenn for three and a half years. Wow. I was actually Diana oh, Ross Glenn in the show. Leonard. I was the singer. Diana Where Ross are you? the live show. Yes, I was. So I was, with I Glenn. know the name Glenn Leonard. Glenn Leonard, That's he so sang Silent Night in the Temptations. He was the soprano that replaced um, the, the soprano. I forgot what the guy's name was. Anyway, he replaced him. Oh, okay. No, he wasn't there. He, he wasn't came there? later. No, okay. he came later. That's where I know him from after I left. Right. Let me tell you who was there. Otis mm -hmm. was still there. Melvin was still there. Uh, Dennis Edwards was there. Okay. Because I was with Dennis I was with Dennis when they kicked him out. I was with the Temptation when they kicked Dennis out of the group for personal reason I won't mention. Mm -hmm. uh, but he didn't show up for the show. And, and then they replaced, they replaced Dennis with a guy named Ollie Woodson who mm -hmm. passed away. And I loved Ollie Woodson. And so uh, Dennis was there. And uh, a guy who still sing with him, he took over Eddie Kendrick's place. Oh, uh, he's going to kill me for not remembering his name because... Oh, the guy who sings at, oh man, you should Google it, Rip. Oh, uh, I'll think of his name. My memory uh -uh. is just going. But th those was let the me, members. Let me go and, ahead and um, get this because you don't want nobody telling you nothing later on. Tyson, Tyson. No, Tyson came. But I was with the Temptations for like 19, 20 years. So they've had so many groups, people come in and out. Uh, Ron Tyson. His name is Ron Tyson. Okay. He took every he took Eddie Kendrick's place. And then okay. uh, Dennis Edward left and uh, Ollie Woodson took his place. And mm -hmm. then after Ollie Woodson, that's when Leonard must have came in. He yeah. must have came in after Ollie. Because he was the soprano that yeah. sang Silent Night. 
And I went right. on tour with him for the His for Life show for three and a half years. And then um, wow. it, it kind of died down a little bit because we kind of because he has another uh, another show. And and then when he came back, COVID hit. Boom. Right. But yeah. he's still doing what he do, huh? He's, he's still, still doing what he does. I think he went over to Germany. He's, he's doing his thing, man. He's still doing right. it. Right. Still doing it. Almost right. 80 years old. He is. Yeah. He actually so um so well, Otis, who started the temptation, has to be 80. He mm -hmm. has to be getting up there. You know who's still out there? And I open up for him too, and I love him too. Smokey Robinson is still oh out there performing, gosh. thinking he's sexy. He <laughs> thinks he's sexy. Smokey Robinson <laughs> coming out stage with a see-through shirt, and you can Ooh. see his little raisin, little raisins under his see-through shirt. And I'm like, Smokey, come on now. You're not a teenager. And he'd be moving. He'd be Smokey think he got it. Smokey got to be about a hundred. Well, Smokey's I Smokey say, performed you know, at the first supper. He's still That's making how old women Smokey spoon, is. spoon. He's still making women yeah. spoon. Right. Yeah. Right. You're right. I love Smokey Robinson, but he he's still singing. I love people who still doing what they do. Did you see New Edition on stage? The, they got I New did. Edition back and they went on tour. I did. I did. And actually, Omar Wilson, who went on tour with Boys to Men, who was still doing their thing. Right is actually the gentleman that I've booked for one of the uh, events I'm doing in Atlanta coming up. So, but you have oh. an event coming up next year as well. It is a cruise because right now you're on a cruise. I'm on a ship right now. I'm on Princess Cruise and I'm in Alaska, which Alaska. none of my people are here. It's cold Please, in Alaska. I walk out on, very cold. Uh, you know what I said? I walked out uh, on stage the other day. I said, I feel like a raisin in a bowl of milk. I ain't never seen so many white people. And they just, I mean, there's none of us here. And no, so you in Alaska. And they exactly you expect me to go to Alaska. Is nobody that's what my paying sister me? Said. My, Ain't said, nobody paying me. But let me tell you this. And I I still can't convince people. Alaska is very beautiful. And it's Wonderful. very tranquil. And it's very, you know, you come on now. Alaska, y'all, people. <laughs> I can't convince people. I don't know why I'm talking. It's I ain't cold. convincing no black people to come to life. It's cold. <laughs> listen, listen. You stay up there too long, you start getting light skinned in it. <laughs> you, <laughs> you do get light skinned, and that's going to take a lot of cold for me to get light skinned. Yo, but there you get light skinned in it. It's not light skinned. What, it's light skinned in it. Light skinned in it. <laughs> you know what? And I'll tell you how funny it is. One of my friends, she sings on cruise ships too. Uh, uh, she's out of uh, Vegas. She was on a ship and we were in Alaska. It was so cold. She canceled her her night she had to perform because she was too cold. I never heard of that like that. Her room was so cold. She didn't perform that night because it was too cold. And and what's funny is I called her and said, Chaser is her name. Chaser, Chaser is on social media. I love Chaser. She does Whitney Houston review. Mm. So I called Chaser and I said, said, Chaser, what room were you in? Because I'm about to cancel my show. I called them four times and said, it is too cold in this room. And I understand now why you didn't do your show. Because I'm freezing and I'm about to get sick. And you're right. Alaska gets cold, but I like them. I, mm -mm. I just like doing cruise you, you ships. Definitely didn't, you definitely didn't know no justice for your cause. <laughs> <laughs> I need to come to Alaska. Oh, you the ship I'm doing no is not going to be going cause. to Alaska. Wait a minute. The ship I'm doing and it's going to be a, a small, very small charter. So people are going to have to get their tickets and stuff early. It's going to be next Mother's Day week. And it's going to be May 11th to the 18th. It's going to leave out of Los Angeles because I don't have no money to be flying people around. So a lot of my friends are in Los Angeles. And I'm going to put this together myself. I've, I've, I've been on some social medias. I'm so old. I, I, I'm not a big social media fan, but I'm, I'm going to have to learn. I'm going to have to hire you to do my social media. That's what I have to do. And uh, so I'm, I'm going to start putting that together. It'll be up next week. I have something up there next week, but I don't want nobody to go to Facebook and see it because I didn't change the date from January to May. And the reason being, I didn't know. Cruise ships take a year for you to book it, to, to sell it, and for people to go on it. I, yeah. A year. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, Entertainers, we don't work a year from now. We don't know if we're going to be around a year from now. So what I had to do, I booked the ship like seven months before 
And someone said, you booking it too early, AJ. And I go, no, it's, it's seven months. I got to promote it. They said, but now by the time you finish putting it together, contracts, and it's going to be like five months. And that's exactly what happened. I was putting it together and time it takes. I mean, because you're not in control of everything. The ship has to find the venues and the yeah. singers have to. I mean, so I'm going to have some big names on. I got my friend Skip Martin um, from Cool in the Gang. I got uh, I'm a, I, I'm a, I'm gonna list their names later once I give them their deposits. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, but I'm gonna come to your show in Atlanta. You doing you doing something in Atlanta, and I I love Atlanta with them crazy people. I'm gonna come to Atlanta because that's one of my favorite spots. Oh, we're gonna have to get you at the uh, center stage in Atlanta at Crossroads. Definitely, right. I would love right. to have you there. Right, I've performed at the center stage. I like it. I like it. Awesome. Awesome. Well, I want to thank you so much. Okay. So how can people get in contact with you? And, and also how can people see the cruise? Because that's going to be the biggest thing. Put it like this. I told you I'm so old and I'm horrible at social media. They could check me out on MySpace. And oh, tell no. them about MySpace page. Wait, hold on. Stop. <laughs> MySpace. <laughs> Put them on MySpace page and blow me up on MySpace. Uh, Wait uh, a minute. <laughs> no. Uh, if you go, wait, look, you know it's so funny. Wait, you if, still on MySpace? You, <laughs> no, I ain't got no MySpace. I'm on. If you go to Facebook, you'll see my cruise. It's called, I'll tell you what, it's called All Star Music and Comedy. All Star Music and Comedy Cruise. If you go there right now, I'm so, I'm so ghetto. I still got the old date and the old video on it well, we i didn't even take that. it off I'm, I'm, we're gonna update yeah we gotta that. update it we're gonna update uh, that uh, and i'm gonna send you out a copy of the video <laughs> with the update we're gonna put all that information the updated information in the description right. box below. okay may 11th to the 18th 2024 it's gonna be some major acts we're going on a beautiful ship and it's going to the mexican riviera people like aj oh people it's gonna be scared hot of mexico oh it's gonna be hot Thank and you. it's gonna be fun, right? I'd rather and they be said, "Hey, yeah." People are like AJ. People don't want to go to Mexico. I go. It's not Mexico. It's the Mexican Riviera. That's the difference between rich and poor. We are gonna go where the rich people go, and it's hey. going to uh, not not yeah. It's going to can't not can't. I don't even know the name. It's going to Co Cabo San Lucas. Okay. It's going to Puerto Vallarta, mm -hmm. and it's going to uh, Mazala, which mm. are beautiful places. It's different than Cancun. Or, or in Sonata and uh, I mean so we're going to some nice places so and you need look it up and thanks for you need a translator you need someone that speaks Spanish to go with you and I'm the perfect person you speak Spanish see si, yo puedo hablar español muy bien continuamente uh, yo puedo hablar español y yo puedo traducir toda la cosa que está pasando ahí en México muchísimas gracias oh, you, <laughs> you dance what a way you learn that from, Yaya. I'm dead. You got me. Yaya has shocked me. Yaya has shocked me about four times about her, and I'm not going to reveal what she said. <laughs> but now she speaks Spanish. Are you Dominic Republican? I am not. Uh, uh, I learned uh, Spanish in high school in the streets and from my best friend, my high school best friend's mother, who didn't want us to learn English. So she taught me Spanish. Well, we all took Spanish in high school. Yeah, but, but no one of, was the president of the Spanish words. club. I was I was president of the Spanish club for three years in a row. I was the geek. But oh it gave my me God. great jobs. And I sing in Spanish. I I write in Spanish. I speak in Spanish. I I translate. I do all of that. Well, good for you. You have to have a good memory to know another language. So yeah. bless you for being that smart. Well. Thank so you for having me, me on this you. show. Well, I, I will take you with me. Call. You can sing too. And you yeah. can sing to the Spanish people. Yeah, I didn't thought about that. I'm going to take your mama too because she can sing. You just told me who your mama was. That was one of the shockers. You yeah. and your mama. Uh -huh. All y'all can come. This, this going to blow. We're going to blow this cruise up. Forget y'all. I, I ain't stuck, you know. I'm going I'm I'm to update my flyer. I'm going to update the website. I'm so we can update this video right here too. <laughs> I'm gonna update this video next week. I'll be ready. That's so awesome. funny. Well, well, 
AJ, thank you so much for being on the show. I truly appreciate it. It's been such a wonderful time just speaking with you and getting to know you. And I can't wait for our future to just, you know, collide where we can actually take a hug and I can meet your family. Thank you for having me on this show. It's amazing. And people have to know how extraordinary you are doing what you're doing for six years. Wow. Actually, wow. been six I have, years. I started wow. in 2006. I, so this is 2023. This is a long time, darling. It's been a minute. Uh, oh, oh, you did say 2006. I added <laughs> that up to, to six years. That's how bad I was in school. <laughs> have, have a blessed day. You too. And tell all your viewers and fans that, uh, you know, don't stop doing and don't stop chasing your dreams because, you know, that's life, your dreams. That's right. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to dare to be different. And until next time, guys. Bye.